Hi ladies, I'm Maria Pete. Seeing you very well because of my mask and I'm looking kind of crazy today, but I just got my ultrasound done. And yay, we are so close, but I'll vlog later and tell you about everything that's going on and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. But yeah, I'll give you an update soon. Alright, bye-bye. Good evening, everybody. Oh my goodness, so I had to do an update video, so I'm giving you an update of what's going on. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Come join the family. If you've been here before, well, thank you for coming back. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this update. So there is so much that has been going on. So first of all, I'm going to um, include uh, some video at the end and pictures so I did go get my ultrasound done on Friday and everything looks lovely as the doctor said you've got the fluffy lining so that's always a plus when you have the fluffy lining so that went well and I got my, my blood work was delayed so we we thought we were actually gonna have to cancel the cycle um because I went to LabCorp at 7 30 in the morning trying to get a stat blood work they never sent it to the clinic and um they did not get it until they actually had to call for it yesterday but by the grace of God, they got it. And it's like, it's been every little snag in the book. When I tell you every little snag in the book. And then my clinic came up with this other imaginary thousand dollars that I had to pay at the end of this. Like, who does that? But thank God to somebody that I know. And she's actually one of my subscribers. But um, she is my little guardian angel. And she called the clinic and paid it for me. So God is good and all the time. And all the time, God is good. But besides that... Y'all, I did my very first progesterone oil shot yesterday. Okay, so my little lady is going to come up here. Say hi. Say hello. Hello, hello. This is my little girl. Hello. Say hi. All right. Now get down. Get down so mommy can talk. Thank you. Okay. So, um, we'll see. Sidetracking me. She's just going to stay up here. But anyway, so, yes, I'm so nervous. Today is Sunday. And I'm doing this update video after we've seen the Cowboys win, even though it was only by one point, but the Cowboys won. Yes. So I'm happy about that. But um, yeah, um, it's just been so much, it's been so stressful. But I did my first progression of oil shot yesterday. Was well, not that bad. I've done it before, so I kind of knew what to expect. Now, of course, over time, hopefully I'm doing them for 12 weeks. If I do get pregnant, I'm um, hopefully, I mean, I know over time they will start to get a little bit more painful, but they didn't. But I think I stopped skipping. Okay, so there will be some video at the end of when I have my ultrasound done and some pictures of that. And then um, I just took a picture of my needle and my progressional oil after I uh, did the shot last night. So... And then I've already done my one tonight. So I am day two into my progesterone oil and my suppositories. So I'm just like over the moon. I cannot believe in 48 hours, 48 hours, I'm going to be sitting there like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm pregnant. At least I'm going to be pregnant for those two weeks, hopefully past that. But I'm just saying, at least, you know, I'll have babies put in me this time in 48 hours and I cannot believe it. We are leaving here bright and early tomorrow morning, which is Monday morning. We were supposed to go today. But um, as you guys know, Sydney works in corrections, so she had to go to work tonight. So we're leaving tomorrow morning as soon as she gets off. So she gets off at about 6.45. She'll be here by about 7.15. Hopefully be on the road by 8 a.m. Of course, I'll be doing the driving. That's just the nature of the game so she can sleep. Um, and especially with it being a six and a half to seven hour drive, depending on traffic. And if I want to be slow and steady and take as long as 10 hours, if I want to bypass the DC traffic, which I normally tend to do, but oh, y'all, I got to tell y'all. Okay. So I have some amazing friends. So I'm very kind of private, even though I do have this YouTube channel, I'm very kind of private about what I'm doing, because if you're not successful, you don't want to hear a lot of people. Oh, I'm so sorry. Or this and the third, blah, blah, been there, done that. Can write a book about it. I don't want the sympathy, you know, I'm just trying to get to motherhood. I, I tend not to tell a lot of people, but one of my closest friends that I did tell, she made me transfer day shirts. So I have to show you ladies my transfer day shirt. So she was like, girl, cause I know these are the colors you wear. So, um, I know that, <laughs> um, you'll like one of these. So I was like, yay, this is so sweet. So these are my colors. Like these are the colors most people do see me wear. So she just got me three shirts. They all say different things. And I, the meanings of them are so wonderful. But 
The first shirt is like a yellow. It's more like a mustard, but on here it's going to look like a bright yellow. And it says the strongest women become the strongest mothers before their children are even conceived. And then it says 9, 22, 20. So, so my transfer day. And I thought that was really cute. And it's funny because um, she knows how I am about my t-shirts. I do not like t-shirts that come up around here. I feel like they choked me. So she went out, especially got the t-shirts, and then got them made for me. So I thought that was really sweet. So that's what that first one says. And then the date's up there. So I thought that was kind of cool that the date was on it. Made it a little bit more personal. And then the other one says... If I can get in the package. Now that's crazy. Like, I don't know how to open something as much as I shop. <laughs> okay, so this one says, and in my pink, it says, no great love ever came without a struggle. No great love ever came without a struggle. Transfer day, 9 20 And I love the writing that she show, chose to get put on these. But I just thought that was so nice. And then I have one more. So I've got a variety of shirts. To wear which I thought was kind of neat and this one says so I have to decide which one I'm gonna wear but okay and this one says even miracles take a little time and it says 9 22 20 so I thought these were so great and then she also got me made these masks myself and Sydney and they just say yay it's transfer day so she got the mask made at the same place where she got the t-shirts done at so I thought that was kind of cute I have my yay it's transfer day mask so I that was really sweet of her to do now this I bought on my on my own um through Amazon of course everybody shops at Amazon but you're either gonna get it on Etsy or Amazon and so I chose Amazon because they were the quickest one since I'm a prime member so I knew I could get them um Really quick. So everybody does transfer day socks. Now let me tell y'all me and socks. I do not like socks. I hate socks. I'm one of those people that hate shoes on their feet. I've always been that way. That's why I'm flat footed. Like literally I hate shoes and socks being on my feet. I'm just one of those people. But I just thought this was so nice because everybody does like their lucky socks or lucky transfer day socks or things like that. I was like, well, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to just... Uh, uh, you know, get my own. So I got, they're called Brave Socks. And these say, baby, you're worth it. And it, it says it on the bottom. Let's see if I can open one of these up so you can see. But they say, baby, you're worth it. Baby, you're worth it. And this one's in pink. And I got the pair. And I know a lot of these are like for labor and delivery, but this baby has been worth it. This baby has been 20 years in the making. So, you know, I'm throwing everything from my mustard seed keychain to <laughs> t-shirts to everything. I'm throwing everything at this journey. And then I got it again. And I got it in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear one blue sock and I'm going to wear one pink sock because at this point, I'm just going to be happy whatever's healthy, happy comes through. So, boy, girl, whatever. So, I'm going to represent both tomorrow or Tuesday. So, I'm going to wear one blue sock, one pink sock, and yay, whatever whatever decides that it wants to um, stick around for a while, at least nine months, at least 38 weeks. You know, I'm going to be excited for whichever one. Like, I am so prepared, y'all. I am so nervous on the inside, but I just... I'm just over the moon excited. I cannot believe it all just fell in place. And um, when the ultrasound person, well, okay, so I, I go, I do not do the, okay, I'm in North Carolina. My clinic's in New Jersey, so I'm doing um, my monitoring here locally. And I'm actually doing my monitoring here um, with my OBGYN, so it's not a fertility clinic. So, of course, you know, they don't particularly know how to read the lining properly or this that and the third and it's crazy because when I went to get my ultrasound done Friday they kept saying no that reading's got to be wrong that reading's got to be wrong something's wrong there da, da, da. so this is how God works an IVF doctor who is in the practice but he normally is not there he has his own practice also but he does work over there he's still on staff but for the most part he's not he happened to be there on Friday 
when I did my ultrasound, so they had him read it, and he was like, your lining looks beautiful, and it looks perfect. I was just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I can say is just thank you, Jesus. He was like, it's the perfect. He said, baby need to snuggle on in there because it's perfect. And I'm like, thank you, because I wasn't sure if I was sticking that estrogen pill up there far enough, because that thing is little, and it's slippery, and I just don't know, but... I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be doing this for real, for real. I don't know how I'm going to do this with these babies here because these, you would think they was infants. I mean, that's just how they act. And especially this little girl right here, you would think she was a, a little baby, but she my little baby for right now. And then I've got my little boy over there who's looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, who are you talking to, mommy? Because I don't see anybody there, but he's going to get the gist eventually. But yeah, I mean, it's just so much going on. I'm so, I don't know, I'm excited. I've already, you know, everything's packed. The trunk is packed. Everything's done. I just got to put these shirts and these socks in back in the bag and put it in the trunk. I mean, but for the most part, we are ready to go. And I'm just like over the moon. I don't even know how to, I can't even describe the feeling that I have right now. Like it, I'm so over the moon. I... I'm apprehensive and I'm not gonna lie I'm nervous you know nobody wants to go through all this and then get a negative but I mean of course it does happen and I'm not trying to think negativity um in the air I definitely want nothing but positivity but I of course have to keep myself grounded and keep myself focused on what the bigger picture is and get to my end goal which is a healthy happy baby a healthy happy pregnancy just everything and i y'all i just i cannot believe after all the sacrifice after the moving after the job changes after everything that myself and my wife have been through we're finally here and honestly i didn't think it was ever going to happen like i've told you on in prior videos i really thought you know i would have been pregnant by now um i didn't think i would be getting pregnant at 47 there, that, that just that never crossed my mind um originally my cutoff age was 45 I was like if it doesn't happen by 45 I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna be like a 60 year old mom out here with no toddler like you know that was what my mindset was but as the time progressed and as um things started coming my way it was like well why not I don't feel no different today than I did 10 years ago so if I'm still feeling good and if my doctors are saying hey, you're healthy enough to do this. Um, I don't see a problem with you doing this. Go for it. And like I said, you know, we had the diabetes at the beginning of the year. We cleared that up. And there's just been so much. And let me tell y'all, I told y'all all I have hypertension. I have had hypertension my whole entire life. When I tell you when I went on Friday for my ultrasound, my blood pressure was perfect. Perfect. 120 over 80. When I tell y'all, I've not had a perfect blood pressure reading in probably 15 years. It's always slightly elevated that I was like, you want to take it again? Because that don't even sound right. Like I was questioning the lady who does it all the time because I'm like, who? Me? No. Y'all, it was a perfect blood pressure reading which is so amazing. So I'm like, I feel like everything's just lining up just the way it's supposed to line up to get us to our end goal, which is um, a baby. And I'm just like, I don't know. But once again, like I said, if it wasn't for that friend who stepped up to the plate to do that for me. I don't know if it would have been able to be possible. And who gives you a thousand dollar charge four days before you're supposed to do a transfer, when you're already paying to go up there, when you're already paying for hotel rooms, when you're already paying for this, when you're already paying for that, and then to throw this $1,000 charge out there, I was completely floored, y'all, completely floored. So it's always good to have a rainy day fund, which I thought I had that all covered. You know, I've been dealing with this clinic since April. This one just really sidetracked me, but, you know, God's plan is God's plan, and I'm just walking this journey, and wherever we get to the end of this journey, and however we get to the end of this journey, it's our journey, but I just want to thank you guys for listening to me rant and rave, and I need all the prayers and well wishes that I can get, because I am completely, utterly nervous, but I will tell you this, I will be giving you an update video tomorrow, because I will be in Jersey tomorrow, 
And then on Tuesday, um, that clinic does not like you to film. So I'm going to see if they at least, oh, before I even do all that. So yesterday, I get a call from the clinic. First, I get a call from the nurses. That was like 7.30 in the morning because they were telling me to start my progesterone oil and do all this because my blood work came back. It looked great. Great, 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 great. Okay. So then about 12.22, I get a call from the embryology apartment. Now, I was told earlier in the day when the IVF nurses called me that I would get a call Monday from the embryologist, not yesterday. So I get a call from an embryologist yesterday. And she was like, is this Ms. Coleman? I was like, yeah, you know, she goes through the date of birth, whatever, whatever, making sure these are your embryos. I was like, yeah. She's like, these embryos look absolutely gorgeous. I just wanted to let you know that. She said, I pulled them out and I was looking at all the paperwork on them and I was looking at the pictures of them. And she said, they look absolutely beautiful. She said, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, because I was looking over your chart and I know that you're transferring Tuesday. And I know it's probably going to be nervous for you. She said, but I'm going to tell you this. You have pretty embryos. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you. They're not mine. I'm grateful for whoever donated them. But, you know, that made me feel a little bit better too. And, you know, we both were on the phone for about 10 minutes. And we were both like, please pray that they both thaw successfully. Because um, I would love to be able to put back two. And I don't want to have to go through a nut to another batch. I feel so connected to this batch right now that I'm just like, this seems like it's it for me. And I'm extremely, extremely nervous but it feels like everything is just lining up the way and do you hear this baby down here crying <laughs> anyway it seems like everything is lining up the way it's supposed to be but anyway i'm gonna get off of here because my baby's is crying and i can't be a neglectful mother and i just want to give you guys an update video to say all is well we are still transferring 9 2020 so so far so so far so good um, I just pray that both my babies thaw properly and that we get that big fat positive that's at the end goal what we get but I'm excited oh and I bought my pineapples already and I'm about to cut them up and put them in the refrigerator so that when I go my pineapples is already there I can keep in the refrigerator at the hotel and then come Tuesday eat me some pineapple but anyway Thank you guys for listening. You guys have a great day and you will have another update video soon. Thank you. Bye.